Hello guys, uh, I still trying to find the best format for my uh, great YouTube channel and uh, I decided that uh, real-time coding isn't my uh, benefit uh, and like my good um, proposal for you as viewers uh, so I'm going to try um, just briefly talk about what I wanted to do then I will work on it and after I will just uh, give you uh, like sum up of what I did and how the situation turned out like how it ended up and uh, I think that it will be for me to much easier to edit and cut videos and for you maybe more interesting to watch them so uh, today I'm going to work on uh, figuring a system for figures and uh, the main thing that I want to try to do is uh, to make possible uh, my player to uh, trigger an event that will uh, start uh, text uh, output uh, displaying text I would say I think that you might understand I will use for text just in GUI library I don't want to mm, you know those people like they create their own uh, UI stuff I don't want to do this not yet I mean, maybe not in the near future anyway in GUI is a great uh, text uh, library for text displaying and I really like to work with it so um, what I have to tell you about that I was thinking how to make it possible in the mo most easier way I think that I will just make uh, some kind of again enumeration for trigger events probably I will make something as just like figure or not uh, and after that I will make text action uh, I have no idea how it will be when it's gonna be like you know enemy or something but I think that if I will uh, distinguish them as uh, like playable and not playable objects maybe it will be better but for now I just want to make it as easy as possible just to create some trigger uh, object and then uh, display some text and of course when we will like go somewhere uh, further or we will press enter we will uh, see no text okay then okay hello i will start from the part when i make a trigger object label uh, you can see that before I always use such uh, de type uh, defined levels when I just uh, create several objects and a player and a background and uh, now I enabled trigger type uh, it is basically the same as a normal object but it has a new uh, parameter type and you see that now it's defined as none uh, what is this type parameter i created uh, something like a lookup table i was inspired by x macros and i really like macros and i hope that i will be able to improve it to be really um, unique for different uh, proposals and uh, now I am uh, setting trigger type uh, by parsing it as I did with uh, all other uh, parameters from level manager and then I am getting the I am getting this element as a string the same way as is right written here and then I am uh, retrieving the key uh, and defining uh, also the type of lookup. For now, it works only with the trigger type. I'm not sure if it will be 
the uh, same good for other uh, uh, structures, uh, enums. So, and I have new lookup header where I moved all my enums because, like, why not? I have it, I had it in my uh, garbage file uh, defines which contains, I guess, everything that I can uh, imagine and create in my engine. Uh, so, and this lookup header uh, has this uh, uh, trigger type list where I, uh, where I am uh, defining uh, types of triggers. Now it is like text and action. Action is just a placeholder. It's not doing anything and I don't know how to handle it yet. But text I will uh, present you today and I think it's pretty interesting and uh, good uh, work was done on it. Anyway, uh, I have template inline function that is retrieving the key from the enum. It just uh, goes through all of the list um, and uh, checks if the uh, string uh, parameter argument uh, match uh, my lookup table and uh, it, uh, it is returning uh, the type uh, definition. You may ask why I did it. Because I wanted to create a unique system for uh, drop downs or combos as they are called in Imgui. I wanted to have uh, to be able to use a drop down uh, element in my UI to make easier and uh, nicely selectable trigger types and I hope I will be able to use such uh, such uh, system further. So and here in my uh, processing level function I am uh, checking if the trigger type matches the lookup uh, yeah, and then I'm just selecting it and changing if needed. Uh, I guess that before I will move further in uh, my text displaying system, I will probably show you how it works and what I changed. Uh, because I did a lot of work and I don't know where to start and I'm super excited about it. But if we will forget about other folders, I added a new one that is texts and here we will put all my uh, text output messages that I want my triggers to uh, rely on. For example, here I have some like uh, scheme just like as you will see how it works in the future. Anyway, um, for example, here I have a file text one which is uh, looking like this. I guess now it is not that uh, understandable, but you will see it in the uh, engine and I guess you will understand. But the principle is simple. You just add text that you want, then you press enter. If here is this symbol, if my parser another for the text displaying find a symbol, it will just go to the next uh, output and to the next one until uh, he reaches uh, the end of file, uh, or I mean the user who is pressing pre pressing enter. So uh, I guess I will move to showing the engine. Yeah, you can see it's like this. Much better, yes. Okay. If I will do like this, I had a crash, but I restarted my engine and it was fine. I'm not sure. I'm restreaming VK timeout error pretty often now. I don't know what changed, uh, but I will investigate it in the future. Anyway. Uh, now we will start with loading level. 
uh, here you will see the uh, this first one. Um, okay, I'll try. Yeah, now it's much better. Um, yeah, where I, where I define only objects, and you can see that I still can move them. And like it, everything works. I really like when it works. Now I'm loading another uh, level uh, where I define trigger uh, object. Okay, we will just check that some fields are filled. And yeah, you can see that here we have the object uh, file, uh, objects, uh, objects information, and we have trigger information. And now you can see uh, this my type none, type none. Uh, uh, an um value uh, that uh, I hopefully will be able to change and save. Now I have here text output scheme uh, just uh, as placeholder too, so it doesn't contain anything uh, anything wrong. Uh, I will also change the background just for a test and I will save level. It just created a new file. Then I will check, and I have here type text. It's great. Uh, you don't see the text position or text path because now it is only you can only manipulate it in uh, site engine editor. But it's also a solvable thing, I hope. So I am here. Yeah, and you can see. The my trigger object is uh, 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 down of, of, of floor, and I will just move it. Yeah, I guess free move is working. I will move it like this. Yeah, and now I'm here. I have to trigger it, and you can see on the uh, zero zero coordinates we now have uh, my uh, text uh, blah 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 scheme uh, output. And uh, I really like it. We can like scroll it a bit. And now we will load another level, check if the background was uh, changed. And we will also load another text file. Background was check, uh, changed. I will again move this down. And uh, I will load text one and probably somewhere upper than my trigger is where he is. Okay, maybe here somewhere, probably like this and let it be 400. Okay, so now I hope I will, yeah, it's here and I am pressing enter and it's changing the uh, text and uh, I am in the end of my file now I will show you yeah you can see we saw all of these things and we can uh, successfully go further I can reload it again and show you that it still works I will again make it uh, to the text one yep and we didn't change the coordinates so you have you see it uh, here yes I am really happy about this and I'm really yeah I, I loved I loved the work I done so okay then. back to normal uh, you see again my code I will I guess briefly go around my text processing uh, stuff I created a new file just to uh, have it in like several separate logic even though it's not that good right now I won't show you uh, you like okay I will show you I am I am not even uh, separating uh, text and trigger and resources stuff I will have to 
of course make it much much smarter and move text uh, displaying text to another I don't know, class make it uh, inheritance or something but I I was I was not that good today and yeah what else mm, I will probably start with the uh, window window uh, file uh, here if you see when I press enter key I am processing text index so I'm storing some information about what uh, index uh, field, field in we are currently like looking at I mean like this one or this one I have again uh, I'm using uh, data structure map for storing information like this, so it's like basically this is first index, this is second index, and blah blah. blah. Yep. And uh, when I pressed the enter, the index is uh, increasing. Simply, then it's going to processing uh, processing function, uh, which is uh, not that nice. Also, but it do does what it does. And I am uh, also, I was testing also about uh, styling uh, differently. You may saw that my engine editor was in, like this black, dark style and uh, this text displaying was in white. I was also changing scale in MGUI. Uh, I'm setting the positions of a window from the uh, trigger uh, object information. I am starting the window, I'm uh, checking if the text list with this, like, if my map is empty. If it is, that means that I'm starting read stream, I'm uh, copying the information from the file um, and also changing the map key uh, when I met this symbol. And then I just uh, simply uh, uh, out, uh, output, output, output in the display. Uh, yeah, relying on the trigger uh, text index, and basically that's all. And I, I am really happy about that. I also like uh, processing this trigger if it is like it, if it, I have to make it uh, displayable. Then uh, I am checking just uh, if the collision mate match uh, the same way as I do with the uh, collision checks for my objects and player yeah so I hope you like it I was really excited about this part of my engine and probably next thing I will do is to handle animation maybe um, yeah and we will see how it goes